How's it going, everybody? This is the Nitty Gritty. This is a show about pro wrestling. My name is Chad. With me, as usual, is Leonard. We are doing another edition of our Stupid Questions. Quite simply, one of us asks the other person a question they have to answer off the top of our head. It can be anything from something very straightforward and ridiculous that you never thought you'd hear, or something that may be a little bit more thought-provoking. Who knows? We will see what Leonard does here, because I'm asking him the question this week. Yeah. And it might be a series of, of sorts as we go forward. Okay. And so everybody talks about Mount Rushmore's. Well, mm -hmm. I'm like, well, let's not just do a simple Mount Rushmore question. Let's shake it up a little bit. Leonard, what is your Mount Rushmore of Intercontinental Champions? Wow, Intercontinental Champions. See, initially, my brain goes old school. Uh, you know, Pat Patterson was the very first champion ever. And establish the belt. I, I, th I think you kind of have to have Pat on there. Um, Randy Savage um, was, again, a great champion during his period. The feud with Steamboat was great. I don't think you put Steamboat on there because he, he didn't hold it long enough. Uh, you know, right before Savage Steamboat, you had Santana and Valentine having a great feud with the title. I don't know if I've had either of those guys. You know, the Honky Tonk Man is the greatest intercontinental champion of all time. I don't know if I would. He did a lot to really put that belt over and that title over. And when he lost it, and it was it's a terrible match against Warrior. It's 30 seconds. But the crowd was hot for it. The crowd was ready for it. And he was smart enough to know, hey, now now's the time um, that it's going to work. Um, you know, again, his and, and his reign was just recently broken by Gunther. Um, before he, you know, he has moved up. So, um, and then I'm trying to think, you know, it, it, in the era between, you know, Bret Hart was a great IC champion. Mr. Perfect was a great IC champion. Um, but then between that, I always say from the new generation era to maybe modern day, the title just bounced around so much, you right. know, and, and it was always a title getting a guy ready. You know, The Rock, Triple H, those guys had great feuds. Shawn Michaels, Mario Gennetti had great feuds with it. Uh, but I'm going to go, I'll go because of how he brought it back into prominence. I'll say Gunther. I'll say Honky Tonk Man. I'll say Pat Patterson. And I'll go Randy Savage. Interesting, interesting. So Gunther would have been like my honorable mention simply because it just happened. Yeah, yeah, uh, but still, that title had been dead for years. Yes, no, I absolutely agree. He's done a lot for it. Um, I though I would argue he's done a lot for WWE overall. I, yes, I really think his matches add a lot to the card. Uh, but I agree with you, Randy Savage. Uh, certainly, he would be on mine. Um, I'm not as enamored with the Honky Tonk Man as others are, uh, but I would put Randy Savage on there. Chris Jericho on there because he's right. held the belt more than anybody else. Um, I would probably put Kurt Hennig on there mm -hmm. because I think when you think about his peak, it was when he had uh, that, that belt. Mm -hmm. um, and the fourth slot is the toughest for me. I would say it would be either be, you mentioned Pat Patterson because he established the belt. Another, like I would put a slash there and maybe put Pedro Morales um, because I, in looking up this question, he held the belt two separate times. Um, it was a total of 617 days. Yes. Both of his reigns. Um, so that I would, I would probably go there. Like a lot of people might be, you know, shaking their computers. Like why I mentioned Shawn Michaels, Razor Ramon, people like that. They obviously did great stuff for the intercontinental belt as well. I would simply say that in the case of both of those guys, you know, you're pretty much just concentrating on one, maybe two matches, the latter matches that they did, the two latter, mm -hmm. matches, um, which were great. Uh, but I, you know, looking at somebody who you really think of them with that belt, I think the people that we even honky tonk, man, mm -hmm. <laughs> you think about that belt with that talent. Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know if I necessarily think of angle with the belt. I, I think, I think of him as a world champion, but yeah. Jericho, Jericho, definitely. I think Jericho was someone who uh, brought a lot of prestige to the belt when, when, when he had it too. So, you know, yeah. the thing with the Mount Rushmore, you get four picks and right. 
with the fact that what more than a hundred guys have probably held the IC title in the time I'd have to look at the list. It's, it's kind of hard to narrow it down, but yeah, I think, any of the names that we named, when you think of IC title, you think of Patterson, you think of Morales, you think of Savage, you think of Honky Tonk Man, you think of Jericho, you think of Gunther, you think of Shawn Michaels, you think of these people right. when it comes up. Uh, and I would actually want to go back and look at the entire list because I'm sure there are people I would see on that list and go, they have the belt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there's periods there in the aughts. Uh, that, yeah, it bounced around. That yeah. The belt was really not doing a whole lot. And you know, whoever had it, nobody really cared. But uh, anyway, there are a lot more probably specific Mount Rushmore questions that we could ask as we keep doing these. Um, it's always a fun thing. I, you know, initially I thought of just asking you what your regular Mount Rushmore is. I was like, eh. I was like, you know, I know who your favorite wrestlers are and all that kind of stuff. Let's make yeah. it more interesting. But uh, anywho, let us know what you think who would be on your Mount Rushmore. Check out our other videos, Segment Surgery, Random Match Reviews, What's That Card. We are available wherever you listen to podcasts. Uh, comment below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to our content. Thank you for checking us out. For Leonard, my name is Chad, and we will see you next time.